Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome back to another Planet Zoo tour. Today we are checking out the Arcane City Zoo by Misaki CZE. So here we are at the entrance. Thank you to Misaki CZE for sending this to me. This is a really striking entrance. I like it straight away. I love the mixture of classic red brick and this really interesting architecture, really modern feeling architecture with these thin arches. It's a really nice contrast. Uh, I'm seeing quite a lot of this at the moment um, in various different architectural movements. They seem to be bringing back red brick because it looks really striking when you combine this sort of old building material with more modern looking shapes. And yeah, that's a really cool entrance. And then we've got a river here um, or maybe it's, no, I think it's a lake. It seems to end there with a bridge over it, which is a really nice way to um, start a zoo. I actually had a zoo with a uh, bridge over a little river right at the start. I think it's the only zoo I've ever started and then swiftly abandoned. I really like the river. I really didn't like the rest of the zoo. Um, we've got a gift shop right up ahead. Um, so instead of forcing you to walk through the gift shop um, to get out of the zoo, Looks like this place almost forces you to walk through the gift shop to get into the zoo. So that's great. Make sure the guests spend as much of their money as possible. We've got loads of custom signs throughout the zoo as well, which I've downloaded and they look really nice. And this is a really good gift shop. I love this poster display here. Not sure if that's a workshop item. Uh, these are definitely workshop items. That is uh, keyboard keepers. Um, plushy sets, which is always a great thing to have in your gift shop. And yeah, this is just really nicely set out, nice and spacious. There's no guests in the zoo. Um, the frame rate's pretty decent with no guests, but it's not quite perfect. So I reckon if we put a few thousand guests in here, we are gonna have not the smoothest video. Um, so we're gonna keep it closed um, for this tour so that we don't run into any frame rate issues. Um, so let's walk down here and see what we have to see. I saw some llamas on the sign there, or llamas, depending on uh, whereabouts in the world you are. Really nice landscaping straight away in this zoo. Lots of plants, lots more red brick, and everything's just hanging together really nicely. I like this. Is this? Yes, so here we have the llama farm. Some nice information there and a nice little viewing window here into their, wow, really sizable habitat. I think this could be a zoo with a lot of room for the animals. Oh wow, so we got white rhino here. And again, that is another big, big habitat. There he is munching away. Really nice habitat with the stonework in the background and then just a little bit of foliage here and there. That's really nice, really realistic looking. Uh, we got a big barn for the llamas here. That's nice. Nice little bit of theming there. And yeah, that is the biggest llama habitat I've ever seen. Those guys are living the life. Oh, we got more rhinos here. Oh, a little baby one. They <laughs> are so cute the way they run. <laughs> like tiny little uh, tippy taps. Wow. That makes me want to put rhinos in one of my zoos. Nice, okay, great habitat. Let's see what we've got next. Okay, I can see a really cool looking building in the background there. All for giraffes. All right, so after the biggest llama habitat I've ever seen, that is the biggest door I've ever seen. That makes the classic giraffe doors in London Zoo look like a cat flap. <laughs> wow, let's go and get a, uh, a closer view uh, or go to the giraffe view as it says on the sign there. I'm guessing there's some sort of viewing gallery or something around here. I like that big lake. This is absolutely massive, these habitats. Yeah, these animals uh, are going to be having the time of their lives here. A nice little garden area there as well. A viewing point here as well to drag the guests uh, that I'm not letting into the zoo into the habitat. Sorry guests. Yeah, that is a really nice giraffe view. It's not just a clever name. I like that. Let's see what we've got down here. Some, oh, I can hear some Siamang already. Ah, oh, nice fence. That is really sort of imposing. Definitely not going to have any giraffes breaking out of there. 
you've got a path down here. I think that takes us back to the entrance, or maybe that's a staff area. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Okay, so tropical pavilion. Definitely Siamang with their uh, chorus behavior. Hearing a lot of them. Okay, yeah, I think I see one up here. Let's get a closer view. Yeah, nice big climbing structure for them. We've got one on the sleep on the uh, on the floor there, and another one up on the climbing structure. Loads of leaves for them to sleep on. Oh wow, okay, so we have orangs in here as well. Wandering around on the ground as usual, <laughs> sadly. But yeah, that's a really nice habitat. I love the water as well. You can see the moat around the habitat. The water is really dirty looking, which is what you would see in zoos unless they, um, you know, they like need a water feature to actually have animals in it. It's normally pretty, um, pretty unclear and murky like that. Some nice concrete walls for it as well. Okay, these are cool. So we've got climbing structures joining that habitat and another one here. Do they? I wonder if they work. I don't see anything climbing them. What I'll do is I'll hang around here for a bit, check out the traversable area, see if I can get any footage of the Siamang climbing on here. And if I can, we'll look at it at the end of the video. For now, let's get into the tropical pavilion and take a look around. So really nice in here. Nice shapes on the floor. That's a nice touch. Uh, we've got some indoor viewing here for what I'm assuming is the other Siamang habitat. And then we've got oh some sort of restaurant, cafe kind of area out here. Ah oh, man, with the climbing structures up there, that would be so cool. I've got to see <laughs> whether these work or not. We will, we will find out. All right, let's head back to the rhino area and see what's next in the zoo. So we got the white rhinos away to our right behind this tree, and up ahead I can see a big, big cat house. <laughs> a big house for some big cats and those crazy rhino statues there as well let's check out the big cat house and see what sort of big cats we have in here okay so we've got some nice signage for the rhinos there i really like those retro custom billboards they look really cool that's a very interesting building in the background there as well i look forward to finding out what's in that but yeah let's check out the big cat house some really nice just dead simple but really nice glass doors in this zoo I like that and then a little plant wall there a skylight some more custom billboards some more plant walls those are nice and here we have the habitats so what have we got Bengal tiger is that around here not sure no so that's the ammo leopard okay nice indoor area and then we got lions over here some nice rock work with the ivy on it I like how the insides of the habitats are kind of sparse which is more what you'd see in a zoo really and then this one which must be for the Bengal Tigers is a bit more overgrown got with the reverse sort of Indian feel to it ah oh, they've used the uh, wood chipping path in the habitat as well that's always cool when you get extra textures from the paths that you can't really make with the standard pieces in the game. Okay, well that's a nice big cat house on the inside. Let's take a look at all the cats in their outdoor habitats. So firstly we've got the Ammo Leopard in a really nice lush habitat. I like the use of the new Siamang climbing frame as well for the cats. I don't think I've seen those used for anything other than a primate. That's a cool idea. Uh, such a beautiful animal. Next up, we have the Bengal Tigers in a similar habitat. I'm not 100% about the, an animal the size of the tiger balancing on that beam, but um, they are cats and they are excellent climbers, so who knows? And then finally, we have this massive habitat for the lions. We've got a lot of lions in here, a lot of male lions as well. That looks like a recipe for some serious violence definitely be an exciting habitat to see though and I really like these shade structures up here as well on this viewing gallery you get a great view in from here yeah that is a really nice habitat I've got a little baby coming out of the water as well 
I love the sense of scale in this zoo. Everything's really huge, but filled in nicely so it doesn't feel empty. It must take a lot of work. Let's see what we got next. So past the lions, we've got a little path going down here, and this takes us into an underwater viewing gallery for hippos. And again, another really big, nice open space with a great view of the hippos. We got three in here at least, maybe there's more. Um, in fact, it's that little baby in the background maybe. But yeah, beautiful view here. I like the bubble effect as well. That's cool. And these structures up here are really nice. Sort of frame the habitat. Really like this habitat. Yeah, it is a little baby, that's cute. And yeah, this enormous viewing window which goes on for absolutely ages, so you've got loads of different angles to see them from. And a big habitat sign at the end. It's another little peek through here. And then we've got this path which will take us back up to the main sort of route through the zoo. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I would really appreciate it. On the left, we've got, I think, another viewing for the hippos. Yeah, this is like a uh, upstairs viewing, so to speak. I imagine the, the land part of the habitat is down here. Yeah. Wow, you can get really close to the hippos. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And let's move on into the next area in the Arcane City Zoo. So what do we have here? We've got some big dark rocks, almost like a cave habitat. I'm not sure what this is for. Um, is that... Oh, Arctic Foxes, wow. Oh, they are so cute. I love all the different colors that you can get here. I saw these guys in the Highland Wildlife Park a few months ago, and oh my God, they're just impossibly cute. I think it might have been my, well, apart from the baby polar bear, probably my favorite animal in the zoo. And then here we have, uh, I think this is their outdoor area. I'm assuming this is joined on to the little indoor habitat we just saw. That is a lovely big habitat for them. I love all the fake rock work as well. That's really cool. Uh, what do we have down here? All right, so we got a South American pavilion down here. That sounds cool. Let's go and check that out. So we got some toilets first, lots of toilets in the zoo, sign of good planning. Some more nice landscaping. Uh, around here we have the oh, reptile house, okay. I think the South American pavilion must be somewhere else. That is a really nice building though. I like how it's rectangular, but because bits of it have been cut out and replaced with girders, that looks really cool. Another custom sign. Uh, and I always like it when people make these fake sort of plastic strips hanging down like we saw in Wild Americas uh, a couple of weeks ago. Nice. Let's, uh, let's go inside and see what we've got in here. Ah, pygmy hippos. Don't see any there. Oh, some exhibits here. Nice with the little viewing windows make them look smaller that's really cool that's a nice that's a nice way to do exhibits the custom window frames just make them a bit more realistically sized you can even see some of the frogs very good and this is the pygmy hippos presumably that is a beautiful habitat lots of really nice planting everywhere not sure where the hippos are probably underwater knowing them it looks like we've got a desert trail in the background as well some enrichment for there's one there we go got a little hippo underwater here i love pygmy hippos they are so cute irl just these little sort of uh these cute little blobs <laughs> they're like almost just like a primitive shape they've got no um almost no body parts apart from their little legs they are really cute i like the signage for the plants as well and then uh, presumably this is the yeah this is the desert trail 
so maybe we've got some meerkats or prairie dogs or something in here oh not if it's a south american trail though a load of the exhibits down here for the scorpions snakes spiders etc i'd imagine yeah some gila monsters and then finally yeah another snake diamondback rattlesnake and yeah this is really nice with the, the signs for the plants much like we saw in mild americas a couple of weeks ago again and then here ooh, Oh, that is really nice with the sloped uh, walls and the big viewing windows. Probably got capuchins, I would guess, in here. Yeah, with the Cyberman climbing frames again. That is really nice. I love the glass roof, so you get all the light in there. And we've got some of the uh, guest viewing stands or uh, talk seating, whatever it's called. Some scarab beetles in the background. Yeah, iguanas. That is really nice. I think that might be my favourite habitat that I've seen so far in this zoo, actually. Those windows are absolutely gorgeous. And then how well lit and tropical it is inside the habitat. That is really, really nice. Looks like we've got some viewing for an indoor area here as well. And imagine, yeah, little keyboard for them to play on as well. Yeah. Great work, Misaki CZE. I really like this habitat. Domed roof. Good stuff. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here and see what is next up on the tour. All right, we got proboscis monkey. I am excited for this. I have never seen these in the game before. Another really nice building. Some planting inside, and then this huge viewing window here. <laughs> Look at their giant noses. <laughs> There's one up there, a couple up there. And again, the Cyberman climbing frames. They just sort of work in any habitat. Once you get rid of the sort of bright yellow color, they are really good. Let's walk past this really nicely done planting with the billboards in the background and see what their outside habitat looks like. Oh, nice. Ah, I think this was the building that we saw way back at the start of the video, or, or almost at the start of the video, off in the distance. That's so nice. I love these sloped windows or sloped walls, again, like the capuchins, but filled with mesh this time. That is so cool. Here we go. <laughs> these crazy little guys. So weird looking. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great habitat. Really like that. We got oh elephants over here. That is a nice elephant house. What a view. We need to investigate this in more detail. Actually, before we do that, we're going to check out the other side of the proboscis monkey house because we have a sort of Arctic kind of area over here or an alpine area. Maybe we've got Ibex there. And then we've got a big, big penguin habitat here. Absolutely huge. I don't think I've ever seen a viewing window this big before. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see any penguins in it. Uh, I'm sure they're around somewhere. In fact, I, I just heard one. But where they are hiding, I'm not sure. We'll have to take a walk around and see if we can find one somewhere. Is that one? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's one sort of stuck uh, hovering underwater, which the uh, the penguins do sometimes. But we'll see as we walk round. I like the way you've got this huge viewing window on the right for the penguins, and then you've got a really nice habitat for the ibex on the left. Maybe we've got a, a sort of land area around here where we can see the penguins a bit better. I like the little slope they've got to sort of get into their habitat. They can walk down there and get underwater. Let's see what we've got in here. Can't see any penguins yet. Uh, 
Okay, there's a couple of babies. And there's... <laughs> oh my god, they can do that? Did he just slide on his belly on the snow? I have never seen them do that. Oh my god. Why have I... Oh, okay, so I've got king penguins in Tacton Zoo, but I didn't put any snow in their habitat. Try and make it a bit more um, like a realistic British zoo. You wouldn't just have, you know, snow machine firing snow out everywhere. So they just got sort of pebbles and some rocks to stand on. I did not realise they slid on their bellies. I somehow need to get snow into that habitat now. That's amazing. I'm so glad I saw that. Let's go and check out the elephant habitat. I think from what I saw from above, that is the last habitat in the zoo. So let's check that out. So this is the last stop, this lovely little cafe here, which gives us a perfect view of the big elephant habitat. But that's not the only thing we've got the perfect view of. I checked and the Siaman do climb those awesome climbing structures. Check them out. That is so cool. Great work, Misaki. So good. Massive thank you to Misagi CZE for sending this zoo for us the tour. I've really enjoyed looking around it. I really hope that you guys have as well. I'll see you again very soon for a tour from one of my absolute favorite builders. That should be up next week. And if you haven't seen it already, check out my latest build, Wild China, which I am very happy with indeed. Thank you for watching as always, guys. I'll see you soon.